All right, let's quickly move over to our very final story. Now, we're talking about the APC. This is bothering on the decision on how they would um, how they would choose their candidates. Now, the National Executive C Committee of the All Progressives Congress will today, Thursday, take a final decision on whether to choose its candidates using the direct or the indirect mode of primaries. Now, they've used the direct mode of primaries for a long time, you know, and now there's still controversy as to which one they would end up using. Chukudi, yeah. can you enlighten us on why? I must happening? commend the All Progressives Congress, the National Working Committee. Why? Because they are trying to um, um, internalize party democracy. They're trying to enhance popular participation so that card carry members of political parties will have their say in the decision making. Now, it's clear to put this out there. When we talk of primaries, it is the process in which political parties within themselves choose the candidates that will fly the flag of the party in the general elections. Now, we have had the popular uh, indirect system where delegates choosing from the party and maybe highly placed officials in government, you know, go to a particular convention and choose their candidates. But now you have the direct primaries where every card can remember that is duly registered, can come out and vote for their candidate. It's open and it's really very, very clear. But the worry is, are we sure that we would get an accurate database that captures the total number of our party members? Let's look at the, the, the incident in Oshun. The Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Yusuf Lassun, there was a video recording of him saying that it is the chairman of the APC that will destroy the party because of what happened, the turnout of the direct primaries in Oshun State. If we are trying to advance democracy and get people to be confident, for somebody like me, for example, that doesn't have money, that I can bribe delegates because I've heard that some delegates earn in dollars, and I know I'm popular, and people believe that I'll be able to deliver on the promises, I can throw my hat into the ring so and, say, fear with the indirect and say, let us participate. Mm. But if you are afraid that you don't know who, can we confidently say that the All Progressives Congress as a political party today can say this is the total number of part, part, duly registered party members that we have, they can say that. I can't fault that. But I live in a country where we don't even know the number of police officers that we have in our country. And there's supposed to be an agency that recruits, they recruit, that the ones that get these people into the police force and recommend them for promotion. And yet we'll be giving an estimate about our police officers. If we don't know the number of police officers that we have that are less than 400,000, and I'm looking at the population of 198 million, how many party members are we going to have? But it's kind of ironic as well that in the news on the same day, there's one article saying that Buhari is promising free, fair and credible elections to Theresa May, and another article stating that the APC are basically a loggerheads as to whether to go on with direct or indirect primaries. How ironic. Now, it is essentially about interest. You see, we have governors who are at crossroads with the senators representing their, their states. Some people have left the party to other political parties. Now, these senators or honorable members are saying, if it comes to a direct primary, because we have represented our people well, maybe through empowerment. You know what they call empowerment? You give Kekemarua or Kada grinding machine, sewing machine to people, they would come out and vote for us. So it is not the governor now, for example, as, elect, uh, as claimed, that will control these delegates and get us out of this power. But what we are saying is, this would further enhance our democracy. Because as an individual, I'll say, okay, since I have a say in selecting the candidate that represent my political party because I believe in this person, but we must, we must allow it to be free, open, and transparent so that people can believe in this system. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.